Travis Campbell here, and have you ever struggled to get reports out of your ACT database? I just had a phone call with a friend of mine. His name's Jason. He works for a company that produces a product that makes reporting from ACT a whole lot easier. Now, before I switch over to the call, I want to encourage you to stay to the end because I'm going to share with you an important webinar that's coming that you won't want to miss. So stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Here's the call. Hi, this is Travis Campbell of actblogger.com speaking to you from Cleveland, Ohio. And I have my friend's system actually is on the screen right now and is on the phone with me. Jason, are you there? Yes, I am. Jason, where are you dialing in from? Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Florida. Well, folks, I don't know about you, but I have interest measuring effectiveness of businesses, and that's often done with reports. And a lot of ACT users, that's they really underutilize reports or don't utilize them at all. So when I turn people on to reports, they get excited about it, but they realize, wow, there's so much more that I need out of a report and the canned reports that come with ACT just don't cut it. And then they, maybe they give it a try in, uh, in editing a report template and they get to this screen and they see all these buttons and it can be really, it can be intimidating. Uh, so they'll call me and I'll put together a quote for a custom report and it ends up being pretty expensive and if they want to make changes to the report that gives it gets even more expensive. I've known Jason for a while and Jason works for a company that puts together a product that takes reporting really to the next level. Uh, Jason you want to bring up uh, your product really quick and show a similar report. We'll display the data that you've asked for from ACT. If I want more information maybe I want to know other history types on this report. Is there a way to do that? There is. We can choose our filter. Again, here you're just double clicking. Let's say you wanted to see all results. Delete the result history from your filter. Preview the report. And now you have all the different result history types and what each individual record manager has accomplished during that time period. So based on sales rep, if I'm a sales manager, I can narrow down and see what activities have been done in a given time frame. Yes, you can. Okay, so people get excited about reports, right? They start, uh, they invest in reports, they get reports that make sense, but then sometimes people are just busy and they forget to run reports or they get uh, delayed or what have you. Um, how are you helping folks out that, uh, that are sometimes forgetful like me? The unique feature is to go ahead and schedule that report. To schedule that report, it's a simple wizard. Let's say you want to run this particular report every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and you want this report to go via email, you select who you want to email this to. You can give the report whatever subject you would like to give. You can type in the email body and message. You click OK. Your last step is to enter in the login credentials for your Windows system. I would log my password and click Finish. Once you click Finish, you will write the scheduled report into the Windows scheduler and it will be run at the particular days and times that were selected. And that can come as a PDF, for example? Via email, it always comes via PDF. Well, Jason, I appreciate you taking the time to share a little bit with folks here uh, at actblogger.com what it is you're doing and uh, hopefully we can talk with you again real soon. My pleasure. I've been so impressed with Jason's product and really enjoyed uh, the time savings that it's given me and my clients that I asked him if we could uh, put together a webinar. And on this webinar, we're going to talk about why contact management reporting is important for your business and the advantages of it, how reporting allows you to get a leg up on the competition. We're also going to cover Jason's product and he's put together a very special offer that I think you're going to like. Uh, he's also given a chance, as companies throw this in, to win a Visa debit card valued at $100. Now, this doesn't just work in North America. Many of you are international, and uh, those that are international, this will work there as well. So I want to encourage you to claim your spot for this webinar. There are limited spots available. It's on Thursday, July 31st, 2008, and it's going to be at 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 p.m. Pacific and it's going to be on your phone. You just have to dial in an internet connected computer and it will last approximately 
60 minutes. Now I wanna encourage you also uh, to give yourself some time early, I say five to 10 minutes, to set up the webinar software and dial in so that you don't miss out and you get your spot. Also, we're gonna start promptly according to time.gov, so you wanna be on time. So go ahead and register now. That's me and that's Jason. And if you're not on ActBlogger right now, go to the site, actblogger.com, look at the post dated July 24, 2008, and you'll see a opt-in or a web form for you to get registered for the call. So go ahead and go to the web form right now if you're on the page and fill in your name and the details presented there. Click on the button that says, I'm in, Travis, and I'll speak with you on the next page.